diamonds on Fleet, bitch, I ain't talking about heat uh, uh, Put it on, screw Hi YouTube, it is your girl V Gucci, and today I am back with another video. Y'all, this is going to be a hair tutorial video. If y'all can notice who I have standing behind me, I'll give her a little like because she's a bit tall. But y'all, I finally made the investment. <laughs> I love her. I finally made the investment and I invested in a um, canvas head. Before I get started on this video, make sure you guys have gone over and clicked the subscription button. Make sure you subscribe, like my videos, do share my videos with your friends, sis. Let me put them on too, okay? But yes, make sure you guys are supporting and let me know what hairstyle y'all would like to see next on my channel. <sighs> Which brings me to the point, today I ordered from a new hair company. So, I've been investigating first on a new hairstyle that I want to do, which I'm still deciding because I'm going to start making this wig. But, um, I've been doing some research on some hair companies and I stumbled across Ali Pearl. Now, I don't know if y'all know about Ali Pearl. Ali Pearl is super duper 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 hyped right now okay so i'm gonna be giving y'all the real tea on ali pearl for one honey no sponsorships <laughs> okay for two honey hard earned money to buy wig for three honey i'm a wig lover honey so i know good hair if it's not gonna last trust me i'll let y'all know what the real tea is my package came like this it came in a yellow dhl box i have a frontal and I'm gonna pop this frontal open so y'all can see it I ordered a frontal and 18 inches that looks so sexy yes that looks so sexy and plus honestly people that I just see with this hair their frontals always look on point so I'm actually excited to try their frontal I want to show you guys what the bundles look like but yeah I don't know if this is all in my head but this bundles look a little bit thin if you guys have experience, if you guys think Ali Coin, Ali Pearls makes, um, if you think their bundles are just not that wefted or doesn't have that much hair, let me know in the bottom. Because I don't know if I'm crazy, but maybe this is what I'm supposed to expect from longer hair. I ordered three bundles in 20 and 222s. Now, I always, always, always order two of my longest, two, uh, two or three of my longest length. Because I don't like when it looks super duper thin on the bottom. Trust me. Y'all always don't don't be like the people that goes for that super layered look that would do 18, 20, 22. If you do that, the bottoms of your hair is going to look like... <laughs> because it's going to be so thin. So, if you're interested to know how I'm going to create this look, make sure you guys stay tuned and keep watching. I'm going to get started on coloring the hair. To bleach the hair, the first thing you're going to need is gloves, a tub to mix the bleach in, 40 volume developer, and a tub of the bleaching powder. And y'all, I used about 75% of that bottle of the 40 volume developer, and I'm adding in five scoops of the bleaching powder y'all i basically do this mix and then i mix everything together and lay it out on my bundle you guys again i am not a professional i'm just a massive finesser i've been finessing this whole wig life for about five six seven years now only god knows but i just basically find tools that are going to work for me without me having to go buy all the necessary tools that i need i'm using a hairbrush to lay this bleach out the hairbrush is literally fat so it allows me to lay a whole bunch of bleach onto the hair at a short amount of time the object of this game is move fast okay guys i cannot stress this enough you want to move fast because you do not want one part of your hair lifting and getting lighter and the other part staying dark you kind of want to be consistent with the way the color lays throughout the hair so if you find ways to make it work by using tools that are not necessarily used for it please finesse your way to making this look as professional as possible the same way that i do 
so now I'm going to be um, bleaching my closure or my frontal excuse me I have laid out 12 strips of foil paper and I pretty much just lay the foil paper out lay the bleach onto the hair and then put a foil paper right on top of that if you guys will notice I am leaving about an inch of the hair of the roots untouched I'm leaving the about one inch or about a half an inch of the roots just black and I am bleaching the rest of the hair all the way down right and this strips doing this whole foil paper method pretty much allows me to get bleach on each part of my frontal without guessing and trying to figure out like evenly distributing that bleach that's what I'm trying to say the foil paper pretty much enables me to do that and now I'm going back around and bleaching the other side making sure that I the whole thing is covered with bleach it's important to do this as you guys can see I missed so many steps that's why it is important to do this foil paper method if you want your frontal to look seamless and professional like I'm going to be bleaching my knots I am using a 30 volume developer and about four scoops of that bleaching powder it is not really important to pay attention to how much bleaching powder I added to the mix it is important to pay attention to the consistency that I got the mix to be you want to make this to be like a toothpaste type of texture it's almost like when I lay that bleach onto my closure or my frontal it's almost like I'm buttering a cake like literally laying ice and onto a cake and I let this sit for about 15 minutes and my hair and my knots come out perfect every time my hair has bleached for about two hours now and I lifted it to about this color I'm going to be using purple shampoo to wash the hair and that's just gonna help take out all the brassy tones and all of the orange tones from the hair this is what my color looks like after the first round of bleaching and I pretty much just start on to the next round of bleaching I haven't quite gotten the hair to the color that I desire so I picked up another bottle of 40 volume developer and another tub of the BW2 bleaching powder and y'all this time around I used pretty much the entire bottle and about half of the tub of the ble uh, bleaching powder and I'm using those 12 strips of foil again and I'm sectioning my frontal and literally repeating the same process that I did for the first round so I'm gonna continue doing this until I get it through my entire frontal and I'm gonna do the same thing to my bundles okay I'm moving really really fast because again I want everything to come out seamlessly and perfect and just like yesterday I let this bleach sit on for about two hours okay I cover everything with foil and then I wash it all out with my purple shampoo once more Next, I'm going to be toning the hair. I am using the T18 toner and the T27 toner. Sorry, it's not that clear on camera, but I am pretty much wanting to create my hair to be in like a medium ash blonde type of hair color. So I'm using a little bit of the T18 in some sections and some of the T27 to kind of um, tone down some of that bleach blonde that the T18 kind of tends to make the hair look like. So I'm literally just going to be mixing both of this toner all over my frontal and once I'm done doing that I wrap it up in full and put it aside and I do the same thing to the bundles okay I allow the toner to sit on for about an hour on the hair once I'm done toning all three bundles, I wash out the toner with the purple shampoo and this is what the color looks like when I am done. I am going to be using Revlon's box dye to color the rest of my hair. I'm using the colors in light ash blonde, medium ash blonde, and you guessed it, dark ash blonde. And I pretty much just follow the instructions that come in the box dye. It's super duper easy. It's a two step process. And once I'm done, I'm going to label each of my bottle with one two and three just symbolizing from light to dark with the colors that I'm going to be laying out and I'm going to be using the colors first on my frontal I'm literally just doing one strip of one color one strip of the other color one strip of the uh, the last color through the hair and brushing it through and then folding it up and wrapping it up in foil paper it is literally so easy this is the final step I promise you guys to coloring this hair and to getting the color that I created okay literally mixing 
all three colors together and laying it out through the bundles. Once I am done laying that color onto the hair, I am going to be washing it with the purple shampoo again. And y'all, I finally got the hair to the color that I want. It is this very ashy brown color and I am so happy. I am using a rinky ding conditioner that I found underneath my sink and some of the conditioner in the box dye and I'm going to use it to condition all of my hair including the frontal and then I'm going to be throwing it into a bag and popping it into the microwave for about 200. This is how I get this blonde hair to become soft again y'all. And once you're done with that it's the final process. Time to turn these bundles into a wig. I like to start by securing my frontal down with the T-pins and I basically just stick the T-pins onto the canvas head. I'm going to be tying it up and getting it out of my way and now I'm going to be lacing my needle. I use the scissors to cut the thread just so I can get the thread to be as pointy as possible. I stick it through the needle and then I kind of spin my fingers around to knot it y'all this is complicated so I kind of slowed it down so you guys see how I do this I kind of just spin it around and loop it through my nail until I get a knot and I do this for like maybe two or three more times just to get the knot to be fat and then I'm gonna start stitching it from one end from one end of the frontal all the way to the other end of the front y'all so this process y'all have seen me do is a bit repetitive so I'm going to completely speed through this video but literally all I'm doing is sewing it all down at the end of each section that I do I always make sure that I knot it once more and then I cut the extra thread off and y'all now I'm going to begin with sewing on my bundles y'all it is imperative imperative excuse me that you do not cut your bundles okay if you cut your bundles your hair will shed a lot okay so I do the flip over method method so that I don't have to cut the weft to my bundles and as you guys can see I'm literally going to keep sewing in an upward direction and flipping it over when I get to the other portion of my frontal and I pretty much just do this until I get to the top of the hair once I get closer to the top of the hair I'm going to start sewing it more so in a straighter line than in that U curve that I'm kind of making if that makes sense I'm going to straighten it out so that the top of my hair is not as bumpy and I'm able to lay all of those tracks onto that smaller section on the top okay and I'm still doing the flip over method because I don't want to avoid I'm trying my best to avoid shedding from the hair so I'm literally going to keep doing this as flat as possible until I reach the top top of my hair. So this is what my hair looks like when I've reached the top of the frontal. I pretty much just connected the bundles to the frontal or the tracks to the frontal I should say. And now I am cutting off that excess black cap that I have from where the frontal meets to where the cap meets y'all you don't want to have this part in your hair because it's going to make it look super duper bumpy and that's not cute okay moving on to the tweezing portion of the wig guys this is usually the part that makes or breaks the wig this is the part where it makes it look natural or it's going to make it look wiggy i'm using a tweezer and a spray bottle to do this part so i section my hair into a small section tweeze through it and then I section another part of it and tweeze through it and I'm pretty much going to keep doing this until I get the desired density that I want for the front of my hair. Y'all again I am not a professional I am just a master finesser so this is how I finesse my closure or my frontal to look kind of realistic or kind of natural to the best of my abilities I should say. Next, I'm going to be sectioning off that hair and pretty much just cutting down the baby hair with the scissors, y'all. So I probably could go in later and cut the baby hair shorter, but for the time being and for the sake of this video, I started it off long so that if I, uh, if I want to go back in and fix it, I have room, you know. It's not just me cutting it down too, too short in the beginning. I kind of want to try it on my hair before I further customize it. But this is what my finished wig look like. And now I'm going to be cutting off that excess lace from the front of the hair. And I do this while the wig is on my head so that I'm basically 
basically measuring out my actual hairline and cutting it from there y'all this is new to me and this is new for me but this actually works it is better to cut your lace while the wig is sitting on your head now I'm going to be stitching on the elastic band and I have about a four inch um, four inch thing of elastic band and I'm basically going to sew that in ear to ear and y'all I'm going to be using my got to be freeze blast spray and a iron <laughs> to lay the top of my wig flat okay y'all do not judge me y'all know I do this but seriously I'm still doing it it's still a thing I'm using a hair protectant and an oil from Kiehl's to style my hair and to protect it from the heat and I'm pretty much just gonna flat iron this I'm sure y'all know how to flat iron hair if you don't I'll try to do a separate video someday teaching you guys how to flat iron hair but I'm pretty much just gonna flat iron my hair all the way to the top and I'm going to show you guys what this finished look looks like so next guys i'm going to give myself some long long feathered out layers with my blade comb i do this by starting off the stitching from the corner of my lip and going all the way down to the lowest layer of my 24th of my 22 inch bundle and i literally just give myself some long feathered out layers when i'm done with that i'm going to use my foundation powder to add some foundation to the parting of my closure or my frontal i should say and this is just further going to make my frontal look more realistic. So if you guys have gotten to this part, honey, we have reached the end of my wig tutorial. I don't know what to call her. Can you guys please comment down below on what name I should give this wig, honey? I'm going to wear it to California. I can't wait. And y'all are going to see this all over my spring lookbook. But please, if you guys know a name, comment down below. If you guys love this hairstyle, comment down below. And make sure you guys thumbs up. Thank you for the support. Yeah, I keep feeling myself. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for watching. It's your girl, Vigucci. Mwah.